Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about the structure of an atom. So we're going to know, learn about protons, neutrons and electrons, and how we could use the periodic table to figure out how many of each of these subatomic particles are in each atom. So first of all, let's have a look at the periodic table. As we can see, for all of these different elements, they have two numbers. One of them, the bigger one, is called the mass number. The bottom one is called the atomic number, also known as the proton number. So we can see that each of, for each of them, they've got different numbers, and that tells us about the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons that are within each atom. So let's have a look at an example. So one of the elements within the periodic table is lithium. It has these two numbers, 7 and 3. So first of all, this smaller number here is called the atomic number. It's also sometimes called the proton number as well. Now, easy to remember this, the proton number tells us how many protons there are. So this particular element, because it has a proton number of 3, we know that it has 3 protons. Now, I know that per protons are per positive. So protons are my positive um, subatomic particles. All a subatomic particle is, is a particle smaller than an atom. So, if it has three protons, I know that it also has three electrons. Because in any atom, before any electrons have been transferred or anything like that, my number of positive protons will always balance out with my number of negative electrons. So if I've got three protons, I'm going to have three electrons. Okay, moving on to the mass number. So this here is called the mass number. Now the way I remember that this is called the mass number is this number is bigger than the atomic number. So I think of mass, I think of massive. I know that this number is bigger. The mass number tells us the number of protons plus our number of neutrons. Plus our number of neutrons. These are the two particles that we find in the nucleus of an atom. So if this mass number is 7, I can figure out how many neutrons I've got. By doing 7, because there's 7 protons and neutrons, so if I do 7, take away... 3, because there's n I know there's 3 protons, because that's my proton number, that tells me how many neutrons I've got. So I've got 4 neutrons. Now, I know that neutrons ha are neutral, which means they don't have any charge at all. So the start of these, uh, these words can help me with that. So... What I need to do now is I need to know whereabouts in an atom each of these are located. Now, this mass number, this number here, tells us the number of particles in the nucleus. Protons and neutrons we find in the nucleus. So, I know I've got three protons. One, two, three. And I know that I have four neutrons. One, two, three. Four. So in the nucleus, the centre part of the atom, that's where I find these particles. Now electrons go in shells around the nucleus um, and they're arranged in a certain way that we're not going to go through in this particular video. But as you can see, we've got three electrons. So in the first shell, I've got two. And in the next one, I've got my third one. So... Quick recap, atoms are made of protons, neutrons and electrons. Protons are positive, neutrons are neutral and electrons are negative. The atomic number tells us the number of protons, it also tells the number of electrons. The mass number tells the number of protons added to the number of neutrons. So to find the number of neutrons, we take the mass number and we take away the proton number. Protons and neutrons go in the nucleus, electrons go in shells around the outside. Thank you.